Welcome to Edabon. For over 30 years, we have provided premier technical teaching equipment across the globe. Our product range covers most technical areas, which includes engineering, physics, electronics, communication, and renewable energy. Every Edabon product is designed, manufactured, and quality controlled at our headquarters in Madrid, Spain, under several quality standards. In this video, we will be discussing the basic wind energy unit, which is referred to as Mini EEEC. This unit has been designed to study wind energy conversion and the factors that affect a wind turbine's ability to convert wind power into electrical power. This unit is provided with SCADA con computer control system patented by Edibon, which includes the actual unit, the control interface box, a National Instruments Data Acquisition Board, which has been installed in the computer, and three sets of software, which allow computer control, data acquisition, and data management. The unit itself consists of an air fan, a wind tunnel, an air speed sensor, and a wind turbine. The user is able to adjust the speed of the airflow using the axial fan, which is controlled via the computer system and they're able to change the number of blades on the wind turbine anywhere from one to six. In addition, they're able to change the load that is being powered by the wind turbine using the, interne the control interface. Okay. Using three switches, the user can control which load is being applied. You can either apply two DC lamps, a variable resistor, or a DC motor. If you leave all of the switches in the off position, this leaves it in an open circuit, which allows you to obtain open circuit voltage. The user is able to visualize and record the data by using the computer interface. We have the system set up to display the user interface through the electronic whiteboard behind me. This is not required, and the computer provides just as much usability. I will now describe the user interface. Over here, we have the buttons, which allow you to start the system, stop the system, view data, calibrate it, and quit. Here is the schematic diagram, which shows all the components in the system and how they connect with one another. Over here is the actuator, which allows you to change any variable components within the system. Here are the sensors, which display in real time the values which are being collected from different sensors within the system. And then here is, are the graph, which show those values as they progress over time. So now I will describe the experiment we're going to run. We are going to maintain a constant load using a rheostat on the interface control while varying the speed of the airflow using the axial fan here. As you increase the airflow, this should increase the rotation of the wind turbine, which thus increases electrical power which is being generated. So to start, we will make sure that the switch is on for the rheostat and that the rheostat is turned all the way to maximum resistance. Make sure that the system is on, and then we will come over here and start the system. From here, you can pick a file name that you would like. and. That's all it is. And then you start, the system has been started, and now you start saving data. And come over here and vary the actuator.
hitting the stop button, the system automatically saves the data while safely turning off all components of the system. From here, the data has been saved. So if you want to view it, you hit the view data button. It takes you here. You select the file that you would like to view. Hit OK. There are two different options. You can view the parameter versus time. Um, or you can view one parameter versus another parameter, which is what we want to do in this case. So this is a graph of voltage versus current, and it shows that the there's a very linear relationship when changing the speed of the of the air tunnel while maintaining um, a load resistance that is constant. The user manual provides multiple practical exercises that walk the students through the correct operational procedure while teaching specific concepts. If you would like additional capabilities, such as adjusting the wind turbine blade angles, simulating the effects of weather conditions, and teaching different methods of using the generated power, such as injecting it into the power grid, consider the larger wind energy unit, which is called the EEEC. Every Edibon computer-controlled unit includes the following. Open control, multi-control, and real-time control. This is patented by Edibon and means that at any time during an experiment, multiple parameters can be changed at the same time with instantaneous effects on the unit. Each unit also has four safety systems that are designed to mitigate risks for the user. Eight manuals are provided, including a user manual that explains the scientific theory being studied, any related mathematical equations, the function of each component in the unit, and how the unit is operated. Each unit is designed and manufactured under strict quality control, which allows us to offer a three-year guarantee against any manufacturing defect and components control for the lifetime of the unit. Each computer-controlled unit has been designed for future expansion, such as incorporating the unit in an Edibon Scottanet system, which enables many students to simultaneously operate any unit in their SCADA network. Lastly, due to the previously stated points, Edibon proudly provides full customer satisfaction. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please contact us by phone or email. We look forward to talking with you.